some of you will have seen the video I put up recently where we built up the Snapmaker and did a few prints with it, one of them being the Banshee, which didn't turn out to be perfect. Well, it turns out I screwed up, so let's print some more. You'll remember in the last video about the Snapmaker, we printed off a Banshee, specifically this Banshee, and it didn't turn out to be quite perfect. The folks from Snapmaker saw that video and got in touch with me and said, hold on a minute, there's something wrong here because even at super fast draft settings, which is what I printed it at, it should be absolutely perfect. So let me show it to my engineers and see if we can figure out the problem. And it turns out the problem was me. So when you want to take a 3D model and use it on a 3D printer to create a real world object, you have to run it through a piece of software known as a slicer. Snapmaker has their own slicing software it's called Snapmaker JS. The slicing software uses a profile for your printer so that it understands how to talk with your printer, but then it also uses a profile for the filament you're using. So if you're printing with PLA or ABS or PETG, you have a different profile for each type of filament. The Snapmaker software comes with a profile for PLA, which is what we were using. That's what we printed the Benchy in. However, the profile is for Snapmaker's PLA, not this cheap generic stuff that I bought on eBay. And this is the cause of the problem. So their engineers made a few suggestions and I printed out a few more out as you can see and I think I figured out what the problem was. Well b besides buying cheap eBay filament I mean. This Benchy is the one you saw printing in the last Snapmaker video. The one you saw at the beginning of this video was this Benchy and for this Benchy I just brought it into the Snapmaker software, I set it to the fast draft settings and just told it to slice it and sent it straight to the printer. And this is what we've got. And magically, the issues have disappeared. The overhang issues on the front of the boat are gone and the window looks absolutely brilliant. It's almost perfect. One issue that I did have last time that I also had again this time was that the top wasn't completely flat. There was some weird bit sticking up, but that is not the fault of the printer. I know exactly what caused that and I will talk about that in a little bit but just printing the exact same file seemed to magically solve all the issues which doesn't make sense until i remembered that last time i was printing it i had the window open which was causing a bit of a draft and those temperature differentials in the air and drafts blowing and whatever can cause these kinds of issues the next print that i did because this was one of the suggestions that the engineers made was to drop the temperature of the nozzle printing the filament. Normally it prints at about 200 degrees and this is the one printed at 190 and honestly it's not really that much different from the one printed at 200. It is a teeny tiny little bit better but not massively. The lines are a little bit cleaner but because the issues had already been resolved on this one there was nothing really left to resolve on this one except the top. It was only when I printed this one where I dropped from the, f all three of these were printed in the fast draft setting. In this one, I dropped down to the normal speed setting. When you print a 3D model, it has walls and bottom and top layers. And then inside, instead of it being solid, it's mostly air with what they call infill, which basically just gives it a bit of strength inside. What had happened with these ones is that the infill was so sparse that as the filament was being laid on top, it was falling into the gaps in between it. With this one, the infill was at a higher percentage. So when it came to lay that filament on top, it wasn't falling through. It was just laying on top. So now we have that perfectly flat surface. But again, the people from Snapmaker said that all of these should have been absolutely perfect. So I thought, screw it. I'm gonna put the Snapmaker filament on and I'm gonna print one out with that with just the basic fast draft setting. So this one is the white one, which was printed with the Snapmaker filament using the exact same settings as the original bench we printed in the last video. And it is absolutely perfect. There are no overhang issues on the front of the boat. The bridging across the window is absolutely perfect. And the roof is also perfectly flat. It's got no problems whatsoever. Whatever was causing these issues with this filament, they've completely gone away with the Snapmaker filament. And it makes a lot of sense that Snapmaker's 
filament profiles are designed for their own filament. You buy a printer like this because you just want to build it up in 10 minutes, plug it in and start printing right away. You don't want to spend ages trying to tweak software and fiddle around with hardware to get it printing well. So it makes sense that you use their printer with their profile with their filament and you can buy Snapmaker's filament on their website. Unlike some printer manufacturers though, Snapmaker don't lock you into their filament. Some printer manufacturers will actually detect if the filament you've bought is from them and if it isn't, it just won't work. Snapmaker doesn't do that. They realize there's a lot of other filaments out there that people want to try and use and print with that they don't sell. And you can use those. You just need to make your own profile and do all the tests and tweak it and get it printing right all by yourself. They obviously don't offer support for that kind of thing. But if you want to print PLA, they offer a bunch of different colors on their website that you can buy direct from them. And it works perfectly with their profile, as we can see right here. So why? If they supplied filament, did I use this cheap eBay filament? Well, the main reason was I already had this open. I didn't want to, you know, just let it go to waste because I don't know when I'll want to actually print something in this red. I got it for a Deadpool theme project that I was working on, but it's a little bit too red. It's not quite the same red as Deadpool. Uh, so I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find something that matches that color a little better but also i had another idea for the white filament and i didn't really want to waste a load of it printing benches and other things until i could get that other idea out the way what is that other idea well you'll have to wait and find out but there will be another video coming on that and there will also be a post about it up on diyphotography.net so that should give you a clue that it is actually something to do with photography but i think for now I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with what I'm getting out of this printer, especially using the Snapmaker filaments, but this isn't gonna last forever. And I have a big pile of PLA filament there that I've already bought um, weeks and weeks ago. So I'm gonna have to start playing with this and tweaking it and creating my own profile for the other PLA that I have. If you're getting this and you don't want to have to deal with that hassle, just buy your filament from Snapmaker. It just works. By the time you watch this, I will not be here. I will be flying up in the air towards a faraway land for a couple of weeks, but then I will be back. I will be taking my laptop with me so that I can edit some videos while I'm out there and I have some really cool stuff planned. I don't know if I'll have a decent internet connection while I'm there though, so I may not be able to upload. But for now, I still need to finish packing. So I am gonna end the video there. If you like this video or found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as my plane lands and I can get some free Wi-Fi somewhere. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.